And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, analyzing all the new data, snow still on the way for Sunday with a good amount of wind, too, especially Sunday night. It allows snow to blow and drift about. And then near, if not record breaking cold on Monday and Tuesday and into Wednesday. And then snow on Thursday. More accumulating snow, in fact, on Thursday. A couple flurries this evening. Those are gone. Now we're getting some clearing. And the sky's clear tonight. We're headed for the upper teens. And then we watch this system out to the west. This is the one that'll come in late in the weekend and bring the snow. Sunshine, frost in the morning, followed by increasing clouds in the afternoon. We'll go mostly cloudy. And after 19 for the low, 38. Not so bad tomorrow afternoon, but that's still, you know, a good seven degrees below normal with winds out of an east to east northeast direction. So not a lot of wind tomorrow. There's that mostly cloudy sky by five and a lot of clouds around early Saturday, then some sunshine and then the clouds back up again. Couple flurries around mainly midday and prior to that with a morning low of 25 and a high in the mid 30s. There's precision cast. There's all your sun and frosty weather early tomorrow morning. Then some clouds roll in, and then a couple flurries Saturday. We turn partly cloudy for a while, but then, you know, by evening, it's back to kind of mostly cloudy skies ahead of a storm system that'll bring the snow. New data is in. Again, the band of heaviest snow is down here. Now, this model's taking us out of any snow now. I don't agree with that. I still think we're going to end up with snow on Sunday. But right now, if you want four, five, six, seven, eight inches of snow, it's going to be down here for us, one to three. Lightest totals north, heavier totals in the deep southern part of the viewing year. You can see that right here with the precision cast. Again, there's your band of heavier snow. And for us, lesser amounts uh, with Arctic high pressure kind of shoving the snow southward. And that will bring bitterly cold weather early next week. Perhaps a couple of flurries and snow showers Tuesday. Otherwise, it's just kind of blustery and very cold. In terms of blustery, Saturday night, and especially on Sunday, we may get some gusts up around 25 to 35 miles an hour at times. So even if it's an inch of snow, it's still going to blow and drift about quite a bit with wind chills early on Monday morning, easily to 10 below zero. I think there'll be some places that drop to 20 below. And a storm system right here that may bring accumulating snow on Thursday. And with that, the Data suggests that the band of heaviest snow is going to be right across the northern part of our viewing area and then up towards northern Illinois and Iowa. Lots to monitor. More data from Annie in the morning and a lot more tomorrow afternoon. Normal high is getting into the mid 40s now, but nowhere near that for the next 7 to 14 days. 38 is the best we're going to do, and that's tomorrow. 27 then falling on Sunday, 3 Monday morning, wind chills way below zero, 15 the high for Monday. And then only 27 on Thursday. I think overall, you take our area, but also the lower 48, coldest first about 12 days of March since 1978 or 1960. It's a toss up. Yeah, and that Monday's not looking too hot. Mondays are yeah. already bad, and you're yeah. just making it so I much I know. Worse. It's like salt in the wound.